All right, everybody says they want to be successful. Now we're about to see how far you'll go to actually be successful because I'm gonna give you the top seven traits, the top seven traits of highly successful people. The exact seven traits of highly successful people so that you can become one of these individuals if you will actually follow and do these seven things. Some people say, you know what, Cody, I'll do whatever it takes, I promise, but then they don't. So now I'm gonna give you specifically what you need to do, the actual recipe for success, and then it's up to you to go and put it into action. Okay, because it's one thing to, 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 to wanna be successful, another thing to talk, it's a whole nother thing to actually do whatever it takes, all right? So the first trait is they are willing to take risks. They're willing to take risk. Successful people are willing to take a risk. They're, 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 no, no matter how big, how small, they're willing to push all their chips in the middle of the table and go all in and bet on themselves and their ability to win. Unsuccessful people will never take a risk and bet on themselves. Okay, successful people, guess what? They will. Okay, they'll take, they'll take some risks along the way. What kind of risks have you taken? As I'm going through these seven, I want to challenge you to think about, okay, your own self right now and your ability to actually do these things. As we go through this, I want you to, I want you to actually do a little self-assessment and rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. My ability to take risks, I'm probably at about a seven, two, and eight. Some would say, dude, you gotta be at least a nine, right? Because you put on an event, lost half a million bucks, you're doing all this stuff, right? Well, you may be right. However, the people that's taken risks, other people think are doing big stuff, they don't feel like, like I don't feel like I'm doing enough right now. I feel like I can do more, I feel like I can take more risk. I, I, I need to just go out and buy a jet and then figure it out, right? That would be a whole nother level of risk, okay? So, so that's the first one. Second one, okay, second one. And I want you to rate yourself every single time. This is a little self-assessment we're gonna do, okay? The ability to actually put in the work. Okay, a trait of successful people is they will put in the work. They will do whatever it takes. They will show up day in and day out when they don't want to. They will put in the action. All right? They, they will they will they will uh, they, they they will they will carry water, chop wood. I forgot I was forgetting the saying for a second. You get the idea, right? They'll put in the work, man. They will put they will show up day in and day out and they will work. All right? You know, I would say I'm probably you know, I mean, my ability to actually put in the work and, and you know, I'm probably an eight to a nine, you know, I, I put in the work. Can I get better at it? Can I put in more? Sure, right? But I show up and I work and I get a lot more done in a day than most people get done in a week most of the times. I got 15 events on my schedule today, right? I speak, and most people never have 15 events on their schedule in a whole week, okay? So the ability to work, what do you rate yourself on? Your ability to actually put in the work and, and put the time in. Okay, also, they are willing to admit when wrong. This is tough for a lot of people, by the way, you know? No one actually likes to be wrong, okay? But, but successful people are willing to say, you know what, dude, I was wrong, and then they're able to just move on and like be right the next time, right? Which is, you know, that's all right. I would say I'm probably, I'm probably a, well, I, I, may, I may be a seven or eight. I'm gonna go with six or seven, just be very, really conservative. I am willing to be wrong. That's for sure I'm wrong, wrong all the time, you know? However, some people just can't take it when they're wrong, but dude, you gotta be wrong to succeed. It means you have a great team around you. It means you got good things happening. It means you don't know it all, you know? You never wanna be the smartest person in the room because then if, you, if that's the case, you're in the wrong freaking room, okay? So the ab ability to admit when they're wrong, okay? Also, the ability to adapt to any situation, okay? No matter what's going on, they're willing to adapt, right? They're having a bad day out in the field, they're willing to adapt. They're, they're, they're having a bad calling session, they're willing to adapt, right? They're not closing deals. They, they realize, hey, it's on me, it's my fault. If it's, up to be, it's, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. I'm going to adapt now and go make some sales, right? So for you, well, are you willing to adapt? When, when things aren't going good, it, it, do you blame others or do you blame yourself? You know, and so for me, I would say willing to adapt, dude, I would say I'm probably up higher in that respect because I will, I will adapt probably too quickly sometimes, you know, and when I say adapt, I don't mean totally change course. I'm going to give you a bonus one, by the way, at the end, I'm going to give you a special bonus after the seven that I'm thinking about that uh, successful people do, you know, and, and they do it well. Okay. They do it well. The fifth one, fifth one is they're willing to delegate. 
They're willing to delegate. They're willing to, and I used to be the worst at this one, by the way. I used to be absolutely horrible. Dylan can attest that. Everybody else on my team can attest that. I used to be really bad at actually giving up some freaking control and delegating. And I'm still not the best at it, you know. I still like to have my hands in stuff and see stuff, you know. I have a probably a trust issue at times. However, for you to do something big, for you to scale your organization, your company, your team, you have to trust people. You have to delegate tasks or you will get way less done. That's just how it works. Okay, I would say I'm probably uh, seven to an eight in that respect. Okay, you gotta delegate. Well, what are, what are things that you're doing to delegate? Are there, are there tasks that are coming up to where you're actually delegating them? The, I mean, because if it's like, well, you know what? I've got an assistant now that helps me with some day-to-day -day tasks and operations, calendar, you know, emails, scheduling, all that kind of stuff, coaching calls, all that kind of stuff. Like, she's there to help me with that kind of stuff. I would have never delegated that stuff before. Absolutely not. Okay, so number six. Number six, they're willing to invest in themselves. In, in themselves and in their business. Okay, willing to, willing to invest in themselves and their business. Are you willing to, how much are you really in, willing to invest in you and in yourself? I, I had to actually, I had to look deep down inside at this one a couple years ago because I wasn't investing in my business and I wasn't investing in myself and I wanted to bad. Like I'm like, dude, I'm holding myself back. I'm not pulling the trigger. I'm not really going for it. I'm not going all in. What can I do right now to make sure that that's not the case, right? So for you, are you actually investing in your business? There was a point a few years ago where I'm like, man, I need to go all in and put on a conference spend a thousand bucks a day on ads. Like I need to just go for this thing, man. And when you start doing those things, good things start to happen. So four and a half years later, we got good stuff happen every day because of the time and effort and money and energy that we put in and in investing in myself and the business over the last four and a half years, right? It catches up. It's a snowball effect. The thing starts to grow. Okay. So willing to invest, dude, I'm probably say I'm an eight to a nine. You know, I, you can't really ever be a 10, right? And then Big time people, successful people, they talk about ideas, right? They talk about ideas, things they want to do. They want to buy the private jet. They want to go and, you know, they, they want to do a, a, an insurance vacation. They want, they want to do the event. They, 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 when they get around big time people, they're like, here's where I'm going. Here's what I want to do. Here's what I'm looking to accomplish. When they get into a room with other big time people, the last thing on their mind is talking about someone, gossiping whining, complaining, being negative. They're not thinking like that, right? They're thinking about the positive, the goodwill, the things they want to do, the companies that they're starting and the things they want to accomplish. Like a, a successful person is invigorated, is, is, is enthused by starting something new, okay? By starting something new. And they, when, when, when they do something big, they get around big time people and they talk about ideas. So when you go around your people right now, what are you talking about? Is it big? Is it an idea? Is it positive? Is it something that you should be spending your time on? So evaluate that for you. I would say for that, you know, I'm probably another, you know, I could probably be a little better. You know what? I'm going to downgrade it to a seven or an eight, you know, because I would say that there's still times where um, I may complain about somebody, you know, and, and I shouldn't because it's just a waste of breath, right? I, I need to be more positive and, and realize that I can talk about ideas more, you know. Landon and I were texting about some ideas this weekend and I'm like, dude, let's just freaking go on a hiring and a marketing spree and blow this thing up, bro. You know, like I'm like, dude, we're doing we're doing 25 marketing deals a week, you know, that are brand new retainer clients, dude. Let's do let's do 50 like tomorrow, you know. Like I know what's a, what's there and I want you to start thinking about and talking about ideas. All right? So I promised you I promised you a bonus. I promised you a bonus. All right, so I'm gonna put the bonus up here. I promised you a bonus, okay? And the bonus is, the bonus is the successful people, they stay, the, they, they see the course, and then they stay the course. No matter what, they stay the course. Horrible day, stay the course, right? No money, stay the course. Failing, stay the course. Wanna quit, stay the course. Don't wanna get up, stay the course, right? Hate their life, stay the course. Business sucks, they stay the course. No matter what, they stay the course. Okay, so when you talk about traits, right? Taking risks. Are you taking some risks, right? Are you putting in the work? Are you admitting when you're wrong? Are you adapting? Are you delegating? Are you investing? Are you talking about ideas? And are you staying the course that no matter what happens in your business, no matter what happens in your life, no matter what happens along the way, who cares? You're going to stay the course and see it through. That's what successful people do. 
and hopefully you'll share your results of these seven things in the comments below. Hey, if you love this video and you wanna be successful but you wanna to continue to learn, I got five books you absolutely have to read, all right? They're right there. Click on that video, I'll tell you the five books you gotta read right now. See you over there. Hey, if you're sitting there watching thinking, I wanna be better, I wanna make more money, I wanna improve, I wanna be a great salesperson, I wanna have big dreams.